Your Eminence, Cardinal Joe. Thank you very much for being here tonight and for presiding over this Simbang Gabi and my installation. Official na pong Makati boy ako. <laughs> thank you for sending me here and uh, thank you for all your support and trust. To my brother priests, to Father Jenny Diwa, our vicar for rain, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo ngayong gabing ito. I appreciate very much your presence. Alam ko po na simbang gabi ngayon, kaya uh, busy ang marami sa atin. I thank especially the formators of San Carlos Seminary for accommodating me. Doon po ako nakikitira. In a special way, I wish to thank Father June Sescon. In most of my assignments as priests, as priest, I have the honor of being Father June's successor. After my ordination to the priesthood in 2004, I succeeded him as private secretary to the Archbishop of Manila. Sabi po niya sa akin noon, mga dalawang taon lang daw ang aking pagiging secretary. Pero yung two years ay naging 16 years. In 2015, I followed him as Chancellor of the Archdiocese of Manila. When I was a seminarian, Father Jude was my professor in pastoral liturgy, a course I am now teaching at San Carlos Seminary. Even my mom succeeded Dr. Sescon as treasurer of SETA, the parents' association at the seminary. And now I succeed him as pastor of the community of Landmark Chapel. Sabi ko nga po, Bagamat isang malaking karangalan ang sumunod sa kanyang yapak, pero hanggang dito na lang. <laughs> Hindi na ako susunod sa kahit saan. <laughs> Thank you, Father June, for the almost 10 years of shepherding this community. You have formed them well. Maraming maraming salamat, Father June. Thank you to Mr. Keng and the Landmark Management, employees and staff, including the security personnel, the maintenance, and the elevator operators. Thank you for your all-out support to our chapel. Wala po yata ng ibang mall chapel na may full support ang management kundi dito sa Landmark Chapel. Maraming salamat po. Thank you to the Manila Cathedral community with Father Bong and Father Kali and Monsignor Rolly. Thank you for all the beautiful memories during the seven years I was with you. And thank you also to the members of the Manila Cathedral online community. To my family, Daddy, Mommy, Inyeng, Dayan, Manu, and Wancho. Today is Mommy's birthday. And to my relatives from the Rivera, Malikdem, and Blanca Flor clans, maraming salamat po sa inyong presensya ngayong gabi. To you, my community here at Mary Mother of Hope Chapel and at Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary Chapel, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong mainit na pagtanggap sa akin. Special thanks to Tatay Maning, Nanay Mila, Kuya Nonoy, Ate Delia for being here this evening. And to all of you who are here tonight, maraming salamat po. I have to make a confession. I miss the Manila Cathedral. <laughs> but you know, I never thought I would feel this way. Months before the giving of our new assignments, I was so excited to leave the Manila Cathedral. Alis na alis na talaga ako sa Manila Cathedral. I was so used to my life there, I was really sick and tired of organizing big events. I loathe the feeling of being always at the center of things. I thought the reshuffling was an opportunity to get out of it all, to live a life I had always wanted, a simple, quiet, ordinary life as a priest. I just wanted to get out of the Manila Cathedral. 
But I was wrong. A day after I transferred to Makati, and even until now, I still miss the Manila Cathedral. Actually, I miss the comforts and convenience of life there. There, I just have to go down from my room five minutes before the Mass. Now, I have to allot at least an hour to travel every day going here. There, I could stay in the Manila Cathedral compound for days without leaving. Minsan, tatlo, apat na araw, nandun lang po ako sa loob ng Manila Cathedral. Now, I have to travel every day. Sabi ko nga po, laman na ako ng kalsada araw-araw. I now experience what many employees had to go through every single day. There, when I want something done, there are a lot of employees who would immediately follow my orders. Now, I have to coordinate with different departments and offices. There, everything was provided for. Everything was in place. The systems and structures were functioning well. All I needed to do was to maintain and improve them. Here, and with the new Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary Chapel, I have to literally begin from scratch, from setting up the chapel and the office, to buying office supplies, looking for volunteers, and praying that I would have enough funds to pay the salary of my staff. Oh, how I miss my life in Intramuros. And I admit there were days I wondered, what if I just stay there. It would have also been better if Mary just stayed in Nazareth. She was pregnant. It was not advisable for her to travel. In Nazareth, her parents would be there to take care of her. In Nazareth, it would have been safer for her. But she went to Judea. Mary traveled approximately 145 kilometers from Nazareth. She braved the long journey. She endured the discomforts. And she journeyed to bring Elizabeth the good news and to take care of her elderly relative who was equally graced by God. Staying in just one place would have been preferred especially if we are already used and comfortable with it. But that is not the disciple, the life of a disciple of Jesus, because Jesus never stayed in one place. He moved from town to town, from village to village. When he was pressed to remain in just one place, Jesus said, I must go to other towns to preach the good news. Peter, Paul and the other disciples never settled in one place. They traveled far and wide to fulfill Jesus' command. And even the great men and women of the Old Testament, Abraham, Moses, Judah, David, Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, and many others were people commanded by God to go. Saints and holy people also journeyed to many places. That is the life of a disciple. That is the life of a visionary. And that is the life of someone who loves, as we heard in our first reading today. The lover always runs toward the beloved. Ang direksyon ng, ang, ang, ang direksyon ng nagmamahal ay palaging kung nasaan ang kanyang minamahal. Lolo Densi, Cardinal Rosales, always told me that he was really expecting to retire in Lipa. That is why he built the St. Joseph Seniorate. He was already 71 years old when he was asked to go to Manila. I also personally saw how difficult it was for Cardinal Chito to move to his new post at the Vatican. He would have preferred to stay in Manila, in the Philippines, but he was asked to go. 
And I am sure Cardinal Joe would have liked to stay and retire in his beloved Capiz. But God called him here, a world different from where he spent most of his life. When God calls, we obey. When God bids us to go, we go in haste like Mary. The danger of staying in just one place is mediocrity and stagnation. At yung stagnant, madalas po bumabaho. That is why we need to move. We need to go. And when Mary went to Elizabeth, Mary probably thought she would break the good news to her cousin, only to find out that Elizabeth already knew. I come here to Makati not because I will bring Jesus here. I come here to discover Jesus who is already waiting for me here. In the month, I have seen Jesus very concretely in the servants of this chapel who are so committed to their duties. Ang mga servants po dito, kasama na ng mga empleyado ng landmark ay ang babait at ang sisipag. Hindi ko pa, hindi pa ako nakikiusap, naiisip na po nila at ginagawa na nila. I have seen Jesus in the management, in their full support for the chapel and our community. I have seen Jesus in the mass goers whose devotion and love for God and His Church inspire me. Yes, I miss the Manila Cathedral. I enjoyed my ministry there. But I would not be able to forgive myself if I had just stayed there and not come here. I would have missed the new experiences and learnings. I would have missed meeting these wonderful people. I would have missed God's amazing graces waiting me here. Being here is worth living the Manila Cathedral. Being here is worth it because it is here where God wants me to be. To my communities at Mary Mother of Hope and Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary Chapels, let us journey together, especially as we prepare for the 10th anniversary of our chapel. Let us go in haste to where God sends us, to where God wants us to go. And may we never stop journeying until we have fulfilled the will of God, until we have reached His kingdom.